Welcome back, Agent Nation. My name, of course. You haven't subscribed yet? Come on, I know most of y'all subscribe now. Is Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Ladies and gentlemen, the amount of buffoonery and toxicity today in the news is beyond anything I've ever seen before. There's a lot to get into, so let's get into it. On our last drama alert, we talked about how 2K support was banning people left and right. Now, it seems like a lot of those people, including but not exclusive to Hank and Poor Boy Sin, got their accounts back. Some good news. The good news, though, was very short-lived because a few days later on Thanksgiving, Poor Boy Sin's account was hacked, and he had this to say. Roll it. This is sad, bro. This is why nobody wants to be a part of the 2K community. I literally was just banned, got unbanned, got unbanned a week early to go right back into PSN locking up my account because some lame loser hacker wants to hack into my account on Thanksgiving, bro. Anybody that's associated, I don't care if you you were in the party chat and you you and you didn't have nothing to do with it and you let them do it. I'm exposing every single one of you your clan, whatever, bro. If you got association with the person that hacked my account on God. You can't, come on, man. It was literally Thanksgiving. Yo, the bad news did not stop there because the guy who hacked his account went live through his PS4 on Twitch and was streaming him trying to hack other people's account as well. Poor Boy Sin said on Twitter, when it rains, it pours, no winning for losing. I can't do nothing about the kid on my account. Karma is real, God is real. He'll reap what he sowed. I can't do nothing in this situation. Went to sleep to forget it all, wake up and kid is back on my account. You might be wondering, Agent, how is this many people being hacked? And we don't know the real answer. Now the two main ways people hack your account is if you have two-step verification on, even if they get your password, they'll need your phone to get into your account. So what they'll do is they'll call your cell phone provider and beg and plead for them to reissue the SIM card. If they do reissue the SIM card, they can just put it into their phone, get all the access to your text messages and everything, and then they can get through two-step verification. The other way that they do this is they call PlayStation support and just beg and plead for the password. Say like, I, I have so much assets and I bought so many games digitally on that account, I'm gonna lose it all if I don't get the password. And then sometimes, sometimes, because most of the time they're pretty strict with it, but you'll catch that one person who falls for the trap. And then they'll give your account information to a random person without any verification. So uh, the only way that you can really avoid this is to call PlayStation and tell them to leave a note saying, under no circumstance do you give out my information to anybody, period. Poor Boy Sam followed up with a tweet saying, I advise everybody in the NBA 2K community, verified YouTubers, known streamers, call PSN support now and get your account locked and secured for 30 days. I won't say much, but PSN support isn't securing your account as they should. Make sure you get yours protected from making changes. Now that wasn't all the bad news there was yesterday because there was a dude who titled his live stream Poor Boy Sin Hacker Exposed. And it was a stream of this dude who was live on stream, I cannot make this up, delaying people. And I'm gonna just let y'all see the clips cause oh my God, what is happening in 2018? And most likely I will be winning Ruffles this week, tomorrow, tonight. Yeah, yo, put me in there, man. Put me in there, man. All right, I got y'all, bro. I can't do it against computers. Oh, yeah. You can't delay no computer. I'm going to delay him, then. He might pass the ball, though. He just green now. He can delay. Oh, he lagging, too. I should just hold the ball. All right. Pick y'all. I got y'all, bro. I guess I got to read Bro, look. I'm teaching y'all how to do it. All right, I'm finna go and show y'all, bro. I can't do it. Ain't no way the park just freeze. Ah, right, then they squine up. Yeah, I'm clearing this bitch. I wish I was making this stuff up, but I'm not. Not only was that guy mad when another delayer, DDoSer, showed up to his park to do exactly what he was doing, but throughout the whole thing, he was claiming that he wasn't cheating. But then he would say things like, oh yeah, I'm gonna win Ruffle. And if this really taught me anything, it's that the guys who are delaying and DDoSing is such a small group of people. It's only like a couple dozen people that actually do it. You can't make this stuff up. There was people trying to hack into other people's accounts on live streams calling PlayStation support to try and make it happen. There was people yesterday live streaming them literally committing a federal offense. Uh, how do you, how did we get to this point, man? 
I don't understand it. That's not where the drama ended. Hank and poor boy Sin kind of went at it when Hank dropped this 50 minute video talking about why he got banned and why he didn't deserve it. And in this video, he dropped a lot of proof and one of the guys he had in his crosshairs was poor boy Sin. Now, uh, he, he claimed that poor boy Sin was hopping into Gold Rush and extending the games to try and make Hank lose it. Uh, there was a back and forth and he said, she said, but at the end of the day, <laughs> it was just more drama. For our next story of the day, there's been a lot of bad news today, right? And it was some very good news in the NBA 2K community I wanted to shine a light on. Annoying TV dropped a video on Thanksgiving of him thanking his mother with a letter and giving her $5,000 in cash. And you're gonna see it and then your heart's gonna melt because the reaction was so genuine. Let's take a look. Can you read it out loud? Even though you don't understand my life at times, I just wanted to know what love and appreciate you. So you said I wanted to say thank you for everything you've done for me. No, man. No, I know I did you. Come on, take it. Come on, take it. Mom, take it. This is extra. I've been saving it. Sorry, right, mom. Ain't that for the smile on your face, man? Yo, I was watching the video. But I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was so excited to see the reaction. I kind of just skipped to it and uh. I may have shed a tear. All right, so that was like the only bit of good news because we're back talking about bad news, ladies and gentlemen, for our next story of the day. So about a month ago, there was this whole debacle that went very viral on Twitter and on YouTube. Pokimane went live on Twitch and she did like a no makeup stream. And honestly, I didn't know that. Maybe I just, okay, whatever. That's beside Apparently me. Hank was one of the people that criticized her when she didn't have makeup for the way she looked because there's this tweet that she literally put in her thumbnail of Hank showing the before and after photo caption, thank God for makeup, man. And she put it, she put it in the thumbnail. Man, you see stuff like this and really I thank God every single day that you guys would never judge me for the way that I look. Except you do in all of my videos every single time. Oh my God, yo. I wish I had half the internet backing me up, man. Y'all call me fat in every comment section. Like, I don't know that I'm fat, man. <laughs> For our next story of the day, do you like Nate XE? Do you hate Nate XE? Well, regardless of whether you like him or not, this next clip is gonna have you scratching your head because he just crossed a couple too many boundaries. I heard, I heard, I heard Duke, De Duke Dennis went, went to the army. The niggas would be like, niggas be like, thank you for serving our country. That nigga ain't do shit for our country. <laughs> you just upload videos. <laughs> Click bait on it. I think joining yeah, the military the means you're serving the country. You ain't serving shit. You're not fighting nobody. You ain't killing nobody. You ain't going against no Iraqis. Nate, is that what you think happens in the military, my guy? You just think they're fighting Iraqis all the time? <laughs> Nate's definition of serving means you have to be killing and or shooting someone at all times or you're not serving. <laughs> Sometimes you really scratch your head. You go like, I don't know how many brain cells he has left remaining, man. Of course, Duke Dennis had something to say. He saw the clip, captioned it saying, this dude just gets weirder and weirder. I'm telling y'all, him and Trump are damn near the same. <laughs> Yo, he just be saying whatever on his live streams, huh? Because every time I see a clip, it's of him saying the most dumbest shit. He really start to, how do you, how do you get to the point in your life where you're just saying something so off basis? Let's lighten up the mood a little bit for our next story of the day. Ronnie2k was live streaming, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, he had the exact same reaction any of us would have had the first time we got shoved in the game. Then uh, I went to Cleveland right after that to shoot what you guys now know as the Foot Locker ad. That, whoa, that was a foul. Um, yes, Ronnie, it is indeed a foul. So why is it in the game, man? <laughs> it's like that was the first time Ronnie ever got shoved, man. We, we've been talking about this, bro. It's been glass cleaners just shoving people out the way on the park for no reason, and everybody's saying it should be a foul, but like 75% of the time, it is 
not a foul. It does make for some funny animations, and I thought it was hilarious Ronnie caught it live on stream. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news. If you haven't already, drop a like. Let's try and get this video to 10,000 likes, all right? It's Agent Beamstar. Click one of these two videos here, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.